back. Our guest, Marianne Sanders from the Prince Edward Quilters Guild is going to show us a few of her um, uh, creations with quilting. I'm really excited to see some of your work, Marianne. And uh, so what do you want to do? Can you start with um, something that you did early on? In I, can show, yeah. I can show you um, I, pretty close to the first quilt I ever made. And then I'll show you the one that's on my bed. So, okay. Except for it won't be on my bed. I'll just hold up the first one. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. The first, that's your first one, well, is this, it? This is my first quilt, and you can see how it's falling apart. Uh huh. We can. This, is, this fabric here, if you can see, is uh -huh. um, from a pair of baby doll pajamas I made when I was probably 12. So this is this quilt is made from scraps of fabric from sewing clothing. So I can look at this quilt and say, oh yes, this was my costume when I was in the musical <laughs> in uh, grade 12 or something like that. So I, I recognize these fabrics, but you can see it's breaking down. I use this a lot. This is one that's a work in progress, but you oh, can yeah. see it's got the batting, it's got a backing. Uh -huh. And it, it's what's called eco printing. And it is fabric that is printed with leaves and flowers um, by boiling them or steaming them with silk and cotton. Then I sew around that, I put more things on, like I've got some little um, pieces cut out of, uh, out of um, commercial fabric. And then these pieces here are for instance, out of um, decorator samples. So I'm doing a collage with all sorts of, of um, different fabrics and papers. There's paper in here. And so it's just a question of, you know, I hold things up and I look at them and I go, you know, I design as I go basically, but I really like it. It's very creative, but it's still quilting. So that's incredible. I, I mean, I had no idea that quilting um, was so, um, so expansive that there would be so many um, unusual things that you could do with quilting. It's very exciting. It's, you know, that you can go, you can go all sorts of different ways. Um, this is, this is the last thing I made, which is, again, very colorful. colorful. Very colorful. Well, well, Marianne, it, you know, it seems like um, this is something that a person can do, whether they do it in the group, if they join the guild, or if they, uh, and they also do it at home in their, in their sewing room or in their living room, or um, they can do uh, um, traditional patterns or make up their own. It's just so, um, so wide ranging, isn't it? Um, who knew that quilting had come to this uh, this stage? It's, it really is quite exciting. And when I see what other people are doing around the world, I'm just blown away by the talent of people that are out there and the, and the things they're doing, you know, that the people that are, are printing their own fabrics, there are people that are painting their own fabrics. There are people that are still doing very, very traditional things, but but with you know, really, really bright colors that are, Australia is, does wonderful things. The quilts from Japan are just amazing. Like the small, small pieces that they're doing uh, that they put into their quilts and all over the world, we have access to seeing that now. And it's so, it can be overwhelming to see all the things that there are out there. It just, you have to kind of say, okay, I'm going to just, look at my own stuff for a little while and not look at what everybody else is doing because it's so incredible that the things that people do so it's and it's and you can be anywhere in that you can be you can be anywhere in the scheme of things you know from be, from beginner to you move on to some other thing and you just you just never know where you're going to go so it's pretty exciting